Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Kelsey Marie, if you haven't been to my channel before. I draw graffiti and I paint graffiti and I give tips and tricks on graffiti, but I also have a vlog where I just do random, random stuff. Today I was gonna talk a little bit about the challenges that come when you try to draw graffiti not on the wall. The main thing is you're limited in space because graffiti on walls I mean yeah you you you're limited by that wall but walls are huge so you can take your time you can draw out your E or your D or your B or whatever you can I mean it, it just seems like you have more room but when you're drawing on a canvas you literally have just like this amount of room to do all your lettering and to do all this stuff. What I find helpful is I like to sketch my stuff out first. Like, so this, this says dude. I hope it's not backwards. So this says dude. And of course it was supposed to say dude speak because my brother just started a YouTube channel. Wonder where he got inspiration for that. But anyway, so he just started his new YouTube channel and it's called Dude Speak and I will link it below if you wanna watch his videos. Uh, disclaimer, parental discretion is advised, okay? Um, they talk about current events but they use a lot of colorful language. By colorful, I mean just downright dirty. It's good and it's funny, but please don't show it to your mom or your grandma. So anyway, back to graffiti, right? So this was supposed to say Dude Speak but alas, the dude went way over, and I you can't put speak in that in that space. You can't do that. So I was like, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to draft this one on a separate piece of paper. So I did. Um, but I believe that could have been mitigated if I had sketched out and thought first to put midway points on my canvas here. And I don't, I don't know if you can see it. I just started the D in the, in the U, you can't really see it. But I put smack dab in the middle, I put a little tick mark. And that tells me that, okay, you cannot go any further than this with your dude because speak has to start there. But is unfortunate, and I guess this is just, uh, I don't know if this is all graffiti artists or just me, but it seems like between the time I start my dude and the time I have to finish it, or the, the space I have to finish it, it's like this much. But when you start doing your letters, it's gonna seem like, well crap, I'm gonna run out of room and I might as well just ditch this whole thing or erase it or something. Don't do that, okay? Because even if you only have this much to do two letters, make your letters overlap so that way you don't run out of room, okay? And that's kind of what's so good about graffiti is if you have to smush, you can smush them. Uh, you put one over the other, like you can do a whole bunch of things that kind of mitigate that issue. That would kind of me, that would be my advice as far as how to take graffiti from the walls to the canvas. So I'm gonna take you through from beginning to finish my little dude speak here. Uh, I hope my little tips help and without further ado, let's get started. All right, y'all. So far this thing's looking pretty good and my monkey turned out way freaking cuter than expected so that was dope but yeah so i'm gonna put all their names on it so you can see so put mike's name on there i think i'm gonna put matt's name down here and then b rye matt always calls him b rye so i'm gonna put b rye all right y'all final product what do you think huh Turned out pretty good, I would I would say so myself. So I may make the background um, gray, just because that kind of looks like cement uh, for graffiti. Um, also, I like to make sure that the colors don't ever touch. I don't know, some graffiti artists, they make their graffiti all blue or all green or whatever. And that's all good and it works super well for them. And like there are graffiti artists that are way better than I am. But I kind of like to make mine not touch, like my colors not touch too much. I try to incorporate a little bit of Dude Speaks personality. So for example, they had um, on their podcast, they had a blue and green logo. So I was like, okay, so I'll stick with blue and green and maybe a little bit of purple. But then I just randomly added a monkey. So 
with a mohawk that matches my lipstick. So he turned out way cuter than expected. Like I thought it was gonna be a train wreck, turned out pretty good, not gonna lie. Beat Speak has Mike, Matt, and Brian, so I put Mike here, and put Matt there, and put b Rye all the way over there. What's kind of funny is to see what I've been putting in my brain is coming out in my art. So like I've been doing a whole bunch of real estate stuff, and most of the houses we go in have these like coffered ceilings. So I noticed that the coffered ceiling somehow ended up in my art, which I mean, kind of that's that's what it looks like. If you don't know what a coffered ceiling is, it just has like railing, not railing, molding, molding. See, I'm learning. I'm learning, y'all. I don't know if I like that too much though in my graffiti. I'm gonna be honest. So I may just like cover it up or like I don't know, do something creative with it. And like if you screw up in your art, like you know, don't toss it or throw it away or whatever. Just try to um, I don't know, see it as your art is putting a little bit of pressure on your creativity to bring out something better. You know what I mean? So um, it just kind of forces you to be a little bit more creative and get out of your comfort zone. So to unscrew up, a screw up is actually a good thing. So yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, next week, I'm gonna have a four letter graffiti, four letter. No, not what you're thinking. Four word graffiti come out. So I have a subscriber. Uh, his uh, channel is Life of Keisha Cowens, and he's a super cool guy. Um, he's a family guy, and his, his channel's really cool. So if you haven't checked him out, you should check him out. But I'm gonna do a graffiti for him next week, and hopefully I'll get that done next week. Because I know Dude Speak was, they are waiting on their graffiti for a very long time. The creative process for me is very slow, but nonetheless. So I'm gonna do that next week. So be on the lookout for that. So that's gonna be really exciting because that's four words and I am limited in space. So I have to figure out how to do that. But anyway, like, subscribe, comment. Don't like, don't subscribe, don't comment. 